things are looking good. Coming up on entry. Vehicle reports entry interface. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Universal 2 is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. We should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. Parachute is deployed. We are decelerating. Sea chill step has separated where we found the ground. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers descending. Standing by for batch shell separation. We are in powered flight. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. Standing by for sky crane. Sky crane is started. Single to us, you remain strong. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. on Mars. It's amazing. It's awe-inspiring. It's riveting. It's captivating. I have seen this video dozens of times, and every time, without fail, including just right now, I'm backstage with the biggest smile on my face because we landed on Mars. It's just, oh, it's so cool. Now, hundreds of things had to go right for this to be a successful landing. It's truly an engineering feat that this landing system in its entirety, never before being tested, successfully landed the rover on the surface of Mars. Now, you might have noticed during that video, there was no real-time feed. There was no real-time video to show what was going on. Instead, the engineers had to listen for tones in the telemetry to understand what was going on. It wasn't until we got that very first thumbnail back that we had tangible proof that we were on the surface of Mars. Now think back to the very end of that video. You saw Curiosity sitting on the surface, and what was around it was an artist's rendering of what the surface landing site might look like. This is what it actually looks like. This is an image taken by Mast Cam. It's one of the four high-definition cameras on Curiosity that the company I work for, Malin Space Science Systems, built and operates. Now ba back off in the distance, you can see Mount Sharp. This is a three-mile high mountain, and it is Curiosity's ultimate driving goal. Now, from our landing site to the mountain, it's about five miles, and it is going to take us until the spring or summer of next year until we finally get there. Now, in the foreground of this image, you can see some white and gray splotchy areas. That was actually soil distribution made when Curiosity landed. Now, MassCam is excellent at taking images in the distance, but it works just as well taking images up close. This is what we call a workspace image. It's an image taken right in front of the rover. Now, in this, you can see the arm is deployed. Now, the arm is loaded with scientific instruments. We have one of our high-definition cameras called Molly mounted on the end of that arm. Now, there's other instruments, including one that can detect the relative abundance of elements within a, a particular sample. We have a brush that can brush away soil. We even have a drill 
we can drill into a rock surface, and the resulting powder can then be analyzed by other instruments on board the rover. Now, these instruments are responsible for some of the first scientific results that we've had from this mission so far. A few highlights of these include a diversity of rock types, from clays to conglomerates, which would indicate a very wet environment sometime in Mars past. No methane has been detected in the atmosphere. Now, this is a really disappointing result to many because methane can be an indicator of life. We've taken radiation measurements at several of Curiosity's positions, and this will give future astronauts an idea of what to expect when they one day land on the red planet. Now, I want to call your attention back to the arm. The arm is responsible, quite possibly, for one of the coolest images Curiosity has taken to date, its own selfie. <laughs> now, basically, the arm was raised out in front of the rover. The camera molly that is on the end of that arm was turned back to look at the rover. And just like you and I have done hundreds of times with our own cell phones and our own point-and-shoot cameras, it clicked an image. Now, in Molly's case, it had to take dozens of images. Those images were stitched together, the arm was stitched out, and the result is the self-portrait. An image like this has never before been taken on another planet. Now, maybe you would like to learn more about the self-portrait, how it was acquired, or perhaps you're interested to know what it's like to operate high-definition cameras on the surface of Mars. Maybe you just want to learn more about the rover in general. Whatever the case may be, come on out to our salon. We're the Malin Space Science Systems Mars Through the Camera Lund Salon. I will be there along with several of my coworkers, and we would absolutely love to talk to each and every one of you. Thank you.